Hey, this is not sir, and this is the Tier 8 U.S. Battleship North Carolina. It has 9 main guns, 20 secondary guns, 108 AA guns, a top speed of 27.9 knots, total health 66,000. For my modules, reduce crit chance on main battery, increase AA range, reduce flood and fire chance, faster red or shift. And for my commander, situational awareness, basic survivability, basic firing training, faster turret traverse, lower cooldown on damage control, and advanced firing training. We are on the map hotspot, and I'm pushing the flank. I'm trying to get into the northeast spawn and disrupt the enemy as they move towards sea. I am the battleship. I'm leading the flank. I can afford to take damage. Now, at this point, I would love to have A captured so we can at least start gaining some points against the enemy. But it's not a big deal. It's going to get captured. The enemy so far is a couple ships moving south to sea. I just want to protect my team as they try and capture C. Sometimes you'll be in a game on Hotspot and both sides just don't want to work together and that's real frustrating. At least at this strategy I'm trying to amplify our power. We see the Amagi, we're going to fire. We also see that there's enemy aircraft just north of our position, but we can't really engage them right now. When you are going towards the enemy, you need to have a relatively harsh angle to minimize the damage you take. We spot an enemy Cleveland trying to make for the northern pass also. We're going to switch to this guy. He's an easier shot than the Amagi. Plus, we have that island in the way that we can use. So, we're fully reloaded. We're going to fire waterline shot at the Cleveland. It looks like I didn't lead enough. Plus, the dispersion was not in my favor. We land three shots, and there's an enemy Omaha. The Omaha is basically cardboard next to these guns from the North Carolina, so I would love to fire on him with my next reload and we're we're right out the range where I think his torpedoes would be useful I think it's eight kilometers if I'm not mistaken it's pretty short so as long as we stay at this range we should be good fire at the Omaha and uh, we don't lead him quite as much as we needed to and the rounds actually fall short the back guns are ready to fire and we fire on his position we get a citadel penetration 14,000 points of damage and we're taking fire from everything but we can't really change our heading we're going to try our best to kill these cruisers so they don't get back to our aircraft carrier in this particular game you can see there's four total aircraft carriers if you get an aircraft carrier on your side you should try your best to keep them alive fire again maybe not as precise as we needed to and we're not leading the target as well as we need to and I slow down I choose to slow down with my front facing the Amagi in the New Orleans because I can take the punishment from the Cleveland which it looks like he ran aground so we got to reload no nope, no he's just changing his angle again and I'm, I'm completely stopped I can't continue forward I can't change my angle I have to engage the targets that are at my flank while the Amagi and the New Orleans are trying to do damage to me. I fire, but the Cleveland starts moving again after I fire, and the dispersion doesn't work out either. It's just not been my day on the distance, just barely off. Since the Cleveland and the Omaha are so far away, we're going to try and engage this New Orleans since he wants to be so close. He's showing his side. We've got a waterline shot. We fire our back guns. He angles away immediately whenever we fire. And, uh, again, just just crappy dispersion. And, oh uh, man, so much damage I've taken. Initially, this strategy was very bad. I was doing my best to try and blow up the northeast spawn, but clearly, that did not work out. We fire again on the New Orleans, do minimal damage, but we do have the island in the way. And we don't run into the island, so we can sustain a little bit. Now that we have teammates that have moved in, captured C, or attempting to capture C, and we've avoided most of the damage with these islands in the way, probably would have died if I would have changed my angling at all during that engagement because the Amagi is so dangerous. So we're going to rotate back and defend A. I don't want to lose this to capture. We're already a ship down, an important ship, a carrier. So the best thing I can do is prevent the enemy from capturing A and give my team time to eliminate targets. While we're moving, we're obviously going to fire on a target, the New Orleans. We only have our back guns ready to fire, and we get a huge citadel penetration, 16,000. And we have a huge island in the way, 
friendly finishes off the New Orleans. We have to angle for the torpedo. You can't be lazy. We know he wants to bomb me, so we're going to try and keep our butt towards him as best as we can. We are on large ship. But as long as you make it difficult for him to get the right strike, then you're going to give your AA guns time to eliminate the enemy. And the U.S. battleship AA guns are fantastic. And we actually take out the torpedo. It seemed like he wanted to drop right there, but obviously completely destroyed. We know there's two enemies somewhere in front of us. We see the Omaha. He's got pretty good angling. And we are not seeing the ideal shot. We check the Cleveland. Cleveland is much better, much more broad. So we're going to fire on his position. Waterline shot. Incoming rounds are doing minimal damage. So far, we haven't been set on fire. And he moved away slightly, so the rounds all land just short. Minimal damage, if that, and, ah, man. Just my day. This was a game where I was trying to get four kills. This was that high-tier game, and I was trying my best to get four kills. I had so many targets, and they were just slightly off of the aim that I set, and it's just frustrating. We fire again, he's moving away, but I don't think we aimed high enough. With him moving away, and relatively fast, he's going to outrun our shells. Yeah, just terrible shot, terrible shot. Whenever you set up a shot, also use your mini-map. Your mini-map will tell you a lot about where the target is headed. Obviously, if you're at extreme range, they have the chance to maneuver, but we're not at that point. There isn't a large opportunity for them to adjust their heading. And we're about to set up again on the Omaha. Again, we aim too low. He's moving away from you, not sir. And it's going to show. I guarantee it. Yeah, just barely too low. Now he's headed in a more parallel course, but that doesn't matter. Now we have to wait for the reload. Cleveland's still firing on us. He's ineffective. He's right near his max range. I know it. And... We see our friendly is dealing with torpedoes. Ugh. Don't go out there. It's dangerous. We are almost reloaded in the Omaha. This is it. This is my opportunity. He has softened his angle. He's not paying attention. We fire waterline shots. We get great dispersion. And let's see. Come on. Yes. We do something that kills him. <laughs> Whatever his remaining health was, we did it. Now it's just the Cleveland. We've defended A, and sometimes you'll play this map and you'll be like, man, my team did nothing to win the game. If I wasn't here, the two cruisers would have captured A, defeated the destroyer most likely, and it would have put our team on a clock. And maybe I would have been able to kill a ship faster over by C, but they would be winning on cap, I think. Again, we miss slightly, barely. Just so frustrating. Enemy dive bombers are coming in. We're trying our best to extend the time that our AA can fire on them before they actually bomb us. The Cleveland is angled back into us. He probably feels like I can't fire on him. Looks like he's switching his angle, so it's going to be harsh either way, unfortunately. This is, again, a hard shot. Since the dive bomber attack is done, we use our damage control. This is the premium damage control. It's really helpful. <laughs> After that Itago game, that frustrating steering getting knocked out, I told myself, never again. So now, well, all my battleships and cruisers, tier 8 and up, are going to have it, so I don't have to deal with that ever again. So, the enemy Cleveland, he's softening his angle. This is a perfect shot for me. He is re-angling again away, but if we get good dispersion, we should be able to kill him. And, man... Some of them land on the superstructure, some of them land just at the waterline, just slightly below it, so they don't actually make contact with the ship. Just, just weird. That is the thing that you have to deal with most with the North Carolina. The modules are set up for the slower, more accurate, but shorter range battleships, whereas the North Carolina kind of flips it. The North Carolina, the Iowa, and the Montana play a lot like the early Japanese battleships. High range inaccurate fire in comparison to the slower US battleships with shorter range. You don't get a module to increase your gun accuracy until tier 9 on the US battleships. 
you have to deal with increased gun range. The North Carolina is in the realm of the Turpids on accuracy. It does have a little bit more range, but it can't equip the accuracy module until tier 9, exactly what I was talking about, so it's a little frustrating. Can't wait for that Iowa, so I just have access to the accuracy module. The Cleveland again re-angles, softens it towards our position, we fire, we only have our back guns, and of course we straddle the target. <laughs> Two in front, one in back. It's just, ugh. This ship works out much better in my opinion when you can get into a position to fire and have accurate fire on the target. When you don't have the accurate fire, it really shows, it's really painful. The front guns are still rotating, but the Cleveland is coming in slightly. We're gonna fire, we're gonna see if we can hit him when he's coming towards us at an angle, and uh, of course, we land short again. Just one of those days, it's like, ah, oh, I need the four kills. And this guy is doing everything in his power to slow me down, at least. I'm in an area where I can provide a defensive position to A. If I was doing this out in the middle of nowhere, that would be a terrible thing for my team. We're able to land one shell of the six we fire. Our back gun is ready to go. And we fire on him. And he slows down. I don't know what, but it looked like the dispersion. Yeah, he did slow down. He came to a complete stop these guys and they're stopping. He's backing up now. So we lead the target in reverse, hoping that our rounds will at least disperse onto the hull of the ship. We barely miss with two rounds. One makes contact, does nothing because it's an angled ship. And we're just trying our best to take this guy out. This is just so frustrating. Looking back on it, I should have just rushed him. The nice thing about U.S. cruisers, they don't carry torpedoes. <laughs> and I will only die to torpedoes in this scenario. We are now behind. This is not good. The enemy has captured C, and they're moving north. We do have battleships and an aircraft carrier. Battleships just took out an enemy destroyer. If we could take out this Cleveland, we'll help the team a lot. Guns are ready to go. We're leading the target. He's about... 10 kilometers out. He's moving away slightly, and we, it looks like we get the dispersion we want. And he, he harsh angled that immediately. You can see he's going straight away from us now. He's really good at avoiding damage. That's all I gotta say. I even led him, knowing that he was gonna move away, and ooh, there's an enemy aircraft carrier. Do you see that on the map? It looks like we're gonna get one opportunity to fire before he goes behind the island. We fire. Will this be it? Will this be the kill? We can't afford to take damage. We land around, but obviously we don't kill him. Now it's three to five. We know the enemy aircraft carrier is in that area. So what I was thinking is I was gonna come around this island and double back and kill the aircraft carrier without him knowing I'm in the area. I have situational awareness, obviously, introduction. And I can tell whenever I'm spotted. I'm spotted right now by aircraft, so the aircraft carrier has aircraft in the sky. The friendly destroyer died near B, so we know there's someone at B. This enemy turpits, he's got two fires, and we're going to fire on his position. He's taking minimal damage, considering he has two fires. We want to get him out of the fight. Friendly's going to do that for us. Okay, another wasted round, but it, it might as well be the same. And oh crap! There's an enemy Alba at our flank. We need to make sure that we don't show our side too much because Japanese cruiser can send out torpedoes. We are keeping the enemy torpedo bombers away from us and we take it out. Now, this is a textbook. He's, he's sending out his torpedoes. He's showing his butt. So we just gotta move out of the area and give ourselves enough time to maneuver when we see them. Our guns are almost ready to go. We set up a waterline shot. He's about seven kilometers out, and he's angled towards us, and oh, 17,000. Been one of those games. I'm just happy for one Citadel. He's going to have an island in the way. It's not going to be ideal for us. We have to wait for a gun reload anyway. So it's not a huge deal. We lose sight of him because we are the one spotting. So we just need to be careful. 
We see the aircraft carrier has decided to slam against the island to prevent my strategy of double backing and taking them out. So we're going to have to go looking for the aircraft carrier. We have the torpedo, and I don't want to get hit by it. It is near the max range, but I'm always going to be careful. You know, maybe it's longer than I expect. But we do have a nice broadside. We only have our back guns. We fire on the enemy Alba. And just barely miss with two of the rounds. One makes contact as nothing. It basically hit the side and flew into the water. But we do see an enemy aircraft carrier. And I would love to kill you, my friend. Looks like all of the friendlies have defeated the enemies on the eastern side. It's just these three enemies that I have been dealing with. Partially because I have terrible aim this game. Partially because I've been getting terrible dispersion. But we're going to take out the Battle Cow. <laughs> I love that name. The Battle Cow is in an independence. We're going to waterline shot this guy. And he's really close. This is bad for him. And we fire at the waterline. We eliminate the Battle Cow. And now it's just that pesky Cleveland and the Alba. We have both of them mostly taken out. Just a sliver to be annoying. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and predict where the Cleveland will go. I saw the Cleveland on the other side of the island. I feel like the Cleveland is headed for B. Maybe I'll have a chance to fire through the gap. That's what I was thinking. The Alba, not really sure where he is exactly, but we'll be looking for him too. The Cleveland is headed in a situation where I might be able to see him as he flashes over that gap between all these islands. He's so low, he wants to avoid contact with everyone. Now, my fire might have been terrible, but I did basically take him out of the fight, along with that other cruiser. The Alba doesn't want to engage anyone because he's so low. So these are, these are ships that are not helping their team. Our team right now is winning. We have only one capture to their two. I believe there is a potential that they can still win as long as they avoid taking damage, but the aircraft carrier on our team is not going to allow that to happen. He gives us so much intel. The Alba could be right on my port side. That could be worst case scenario, but the North Carolina guns do traverse so fast I could engage him and not really worry about it. But the way the Cleveland is moving, that tells me that the Alba is not in the same area. They would be trying to meet up for greater numbers. But in this instance, he is telling me they're just trying to get away. And that's what I would do too. There's a minute left. They have the potential to win the game as long as they don't die. And this was it. This is what I was looking for. This opening where I would have a chance to fire on his position. Front guns are ready. Back gun cannot get in position. We fire waterline shot. Only need one round to hit. And we get a Citadel, of course. So we do the remaining hit points. We would have done 11,000 points of damage, but it, there wasn't any left. Alba was running away. We locked up this game by taking out the Cleveland. And finally, I can say the game's over. And that stupid Cleveland, the guy that I initially saw and engaged at the beginning, is the last kill. And this was one where I was going, I need the four kills, I need the four kills. But obviously it worked out, prior video. We got three kills, six Citadel penetrations, 2,652 base XP, and 112,000 points of damage. I hope you enjoyed seeing my ineptitude. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you next time.